I am M Kalamani, Department of Computer Science. Now I am going to take a software development process life cycle. You know that one, what is software process development life cycle means? So, first software development life cycle means to be used widely in software engineering to ensure success of the project. All the software engineering used the waterfall model, then more models may be used in SDLC. So, basics of SDLC is requirement gathering, software analysis, software design, coding, testing and uh, implementation. You know that one what is requirement uh, gathering. So, it, it is the first stage and major stage of any SDLC model. So, this space is basically the brainstorming phase because it has ma many sub stages for like feasibility analysis stages to check how many ideas idea can put into action for development then uh, next one is basic requirements so what are the basic requirements considered in stlc feasibility scalability hardware input out next interface fast speed user friendly so next one what is analysis so analysis means um, uh, this stage the system is divided into smaller parts to make it easier more manageable uh, for the developers designers testers project managers and uh, other professionals who are going to work on the software in the later stages so next one uh, analysis step means objectives criteria review approval so then one is design so design is nothing but design is developed by the analyst and designers so it is understandable interface user friendly easy to use and uh, fast speed so then one uh, this one is one example for uh, design so next one is coding so it is a logical part of the development process in this space lot of brains are working for coding and get the final successful result for the software then a team of programmers is assigned by the company to work on the software so coding example like c++ java c sharp coding we can use uh, to create the software next one what is testing so test testing considers uh, dynamic static errors so when the software is ready it is sent to the testing department where quality analysis test is truly for different errors by forming various test cases so next one implementation implementation in this stage the software runs on various system by users or buyers then this is the final phase of software development life cycle so now we can see what is what are the advantages of stlc increased development speed increased product quality so include client relations so decrease project project management overhead next uh, it also in decrease project risk also next one example uh, des design calculator for customer so next one this is the coding example of coding example of testing so now we are going to see what is waterfall model in stlc this is one of the model in stlc so waterfall model means um, output requirements analysis access to the input so this is the step by step process you know that one a software development process or life cycle is a structure imposed on the development of a software product. Then waterfall model, types of software development models, waterfall model, V model, increment model, RAD model, iterative model, spiral model can be used. Next one, what is waterfall model? Uh, there are total seven models in software development. So waterfall model is a popular model of the system development life cycle. Then it is very simple to use and uh, understand. So then what are the steps are uh, used in waterfall model requirements, design, implementation, verification and maintenance. So first one is requirements. Requirements means requirements gather. Uh, if customer gives some requirements, you can gather that requirements and document it. Then ne next one, all possible requirements of the system to be developed or uh, captured in this space. In the steps, user demands to enter requirement for the software development. Next one is design. This is second step in waterfall model. The system design helps in specifying hardware and system requirements and helps in defining the overall system architecture. So then one, this one is implementation. So implementation uh, input from the system design. So system development in small programs called units so which are integrated in the next page um, each unit is developed and tested for its functionality which is referred to as unit testing so the main purpose of this steps is to execute the program 
verification in this steps the entire system will be tested for any faults and failures so once the functional and non functional testing is done the product is deployed in the customer environment or uh, released into the market so next one maintenance Th this is the last steps there are some issues which come up in the client environment in this steps the issues will be fixed patches and released maintenance is done to deliver this changes in customer uh, environment this is the advantages of a uh, waterfall model this model is simple and easy to understand so in this model phases are processed and completed at once a time uh, waterfall model works well for uh, smaller projects where requirements are very well understood so disadvantages of waterfall model in this application this testing changes is it is a uh, very difficult to go back and change something that was not well thought out in the concept stage high amounts of risk and uncertainty can be considered not a good model for complex and object oriented projects so then um, uh, another advantages of uh, waterfall model and uh, uh, phases are proceed and completed one at a time each phase have specific delivery and review process it is simple and easy to understand if one place completed next to go for the next phase proceed and completed at a time so requirements means are very well understood easy to define stages so so many disadvantages uh, can be considered in waterfall model no working uh, is produced until late during life cycle high amount of risk can be considered then not good for a uh, um, complex per model for large ongoing projects in waterfall model so use of waterfall model is technology is understood the project is very short um, this model is used only when the requirements are very well known clear and fixed product definition is stable so next one is rad model this is rapid application development model so you know that one what is software process model set of activities required to develop a software system if we develop the pro software system uh, set of activities can be considered so software process model provide road map for software engineering work then what are the paces uh, is uh, followed up uh, in software process model specification design and implementation integration and testing operations and maintenance so this one is one of the um, model in sdlc ra rapid application development model was first proposed by ibm in 1980 in james merton with by the same name so then rad model means uh, developers then create a prototype that satisfied all some of the requirements so then um, the prototype is presented to the client and feedback collector and this points client may change their mind or discover the that something that seemed right on paper makes no sense in practice if client's feedback is entirely positive then developers can move to the ultimate step of uh, finalizing the product it can be handed to client with confidence that this meets their requirements then rapid application development falls under the category of ugly development techniques you know that one uh, ran model is also comes under incremental incremental process model so rapid application development model increment model is not also work for uh, large scale companies or large scale projects but android applications or uh, building software switch program gives some ideas incremental model so it is proposed in 1980 so it is suitable when customer requirement is clear but the schedule is very short okay so i repeat it yes is suitable when customer requirement is clear but the schedule is very short in that time we can use this model rapid model so everyone heard about uh, ms germs most of the colleges are using so it is used starting of the lockdown and covid situation because become popularly introduced educational uh, institute this kind of software came suddenly to the market so even you can assume some games like fall games it is developed published really fastly so these things are used rad model so next one uh, high budget to spend on your company ready to give more money to faster delivery this model the whole project is divided into multiple modules and each module is given to a particular project team so 
so it is the each module means first one is communication second one is planning so business modeling design modeling process modeling application generation can be followed uh, you know that one what is communication uh, what are the customers give requirements customers requirements to make the projects into different modules so planning means this project you can separate this projects into sub define uh, different modules then what is planning planning means assume the requirement of three different modules so then next one so what are the advantages what are the disadvantages of a um, rad model you know that one advantages means reduce development time increases the reusability of the components so quick initial reviews occur encourage customer feedback integration for every beginning solves lot of integration issues so another advantage is means design already design may directly collecting the uh, from previous module then multiple projects modification required on the projects so quick release is possible in this uh, rad model whenever doing testing customer feedback also collecting encouraging customer feedback requirement change can be accommodate easily rapid everything fast so what are the disadvantages uh, considered in a rapid model so depends on strong team and individual performance for identifying business requirements requirements of high high skilled developer in this model three teams they do not know what this team is developing so all needs in good leaders of the same time the communication all the time so team leader can also have basic idea what are the components they are using he should manage everything one member have high in depth, in depth knowledge about it so should not be used for small projects then uh, it is used for two or three months maybe so one system that can be modularity can be built using rad assume that cannot be divided into modules so so requires highly skilled developers can used in a rad model so high dependency on modeling skills then conclusion that ra rapid development uh, application development model is a software development model where developers produce a prototype of the software as quickly as possible to get feedback from the client and uh, functionality so then objectives of the rap rapid development project model is speedy development adaptability and flexibility improved interaction with the uh, customers satisfaction so for example for rad model is employee resignation travel re request so when to use this rad model means well understood requirement when project requirements are stable transparent rad is appropriate innovation and creativity uh, helpful for uh, task requiring creative inquiry and innovation thank you